I just finished working out and of course need to eat after, right? Finally I can quote, right? <laughs> but before that I would like to have a, a tea, right? Where's my cup? Ah. Well, this is the thing, right? After working out, we're becoming quite hungry. And... Uh, but it's really, really, as I know, important to... Manage what you're eating, actually, right? As you will know from the short videos, before this, uh, I do like to do weight small, and for, of course, that means I'm training my muscles. And to grow muscles, you need to eat protein <laughs> and nice fat, right? Mm. So today in my menu, <laughs> pork meat, right? I will need two eggs. And I really, really, really like some uh, pastries, which one I find only in Sainsbury shop. It's a British shop. Uh, it's not a commercial or anything, but I really like both. Like this one, it's my one of my favorites. Uh, this one is my god, I really, really like them. And this one as well. <laughs> the funny thing happened today in the uh, in the shop for garlic. I wanted to buy normal garlic, normal. I mean, the vegetable itself. However, <laughs> I couldn't do that because all of them was like you know just when you're squeezing, you're trying to figure out is it old, not old, and is it too dry or something like that. And apparently. Me. I didn't really like that. So I get it. I was thinking, okay, let's buy the spice. Yeah. And I, I was actually quite hungry. And um, it's better never go hungry to the shop, right? Because you're going to buy a lot of things, which one maybe later you're not going to know where to put them back or what to do. So I buy some snacks. Mm. Ah, nee. Also, I found one kind of thing. Uh, I'm not really okay to eat milk stuff. So, you know, when I... I done actually DNA test of those things. I said my hair, so after a couple of weeks I got the results about the things what is better not to eat and all that stuff, right? So, <laughs> I never checked in the shops the... <coughs> sorry things which one okay not okay to eat and uh, do they have gluten free uh, lactose free all those kind of things right <laughs> and now I find this this one says it's uh, free from dairy soya gluten lactose nuts preservatives oh my god yes I didn't know you know before when you are kind of before uh, I never pay attention on those kind of things and I didn't even know that these kind of products actually are in the shop. And uh, how much we have in the industry, those kind of things, honestly, no? <laughs> Interesting. 
I've never thought about it, honestly. Only when we're facing and you need those things, you put... Now, yes, they still... Uh, you really can find it. Uh, quite healthy things, uh, at least uh, things free from something. But, not in every shop. Yes, so let's eat next. Let's try. I cannot open. I will have to use it. Scissors. Hmm. Smells not, not not so bad, right? It's made from rice. Well. It does quite a lot of calories. I will try just a few pieces. Mm. Okay, that's enough. Oh, well, I will show what more things I buy. Oh, I find those kind of things. It's also dark chocolate salted caramel. Gluten free. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder is it tasty or not. Now, ah, both I'm sure. Um, well, in my childhood, I used to have those kind of sweets. <laughs> Did you have those kind of snacks when you was little? Oh my God, I had them a lot. I was like a like a square uh, shape and in my school I was eating them and buying them I don't remember how much it would cost I think a couple of feet yeah remember things okay so let's start cooking before cooking I saw such amazing view at sunset so beautiful the sky Actually, all day wasn't very good weather, honestly. It was so windy, cold, and now it's like this. Amazing, no? <sighs> ah, yeah. Say hello to my flower. I call him Monster because he... First time when I bought him, I think a couple of years ago, it was uh, during the lockdown, if I remember correctly. I wanted to buy something very cheerful, good mood for me, would help me to get rid of, of not depression, but something like that. Anyway, so first time he gave me four flowers. And I even read it that this Amaril gives you four or three or even five flowers. That means this flower feels very, very comfortable at, at the place where it is. Mm. Normally, they always give you two flowers. So I'm very surprised. Back then, was. And I really like it. Uh, and now my Amarilli hmm, finally producing the flowers, actually. He wasn't giving me flowers for almost three years, darling. Finally, you get me flowers, honestly. I was waiting so, so long. Oh, this one. Oh my God. He, this flower? I forget the name. Uh, if I will remember, I will put the name in the video. All right. He is dying and recovering, honestly. <laughs> Ah, my. Yeah, while well, I'm gonna cook later on, I will have to take care of everything here because it's a little bit messy. Yeah, but it's okay. So later, when I finish cooking, I will show, <laughs> I will share the results of my cooking. Well, I put meat there. Yeah. And now I'm gonna put some egg. 
usually I use le eggs uh, free range, but who lives in the UK, you know the situation, what's going on with the eggs and all the thermal stuff and everything. Well, so it's not really easy to find good eggs. Usually it's all, I don't know, even in the end of the week. Ah, yeah, also, today when I'm making this video, it's uh, close to Easter. So, obviously, it's also one of the reasons you cannot find much of X. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Honestly, when I finally have electricity, it's a different thing. Finally, I can normally make a food and everything, you know? Let's put some spices. Let's put this one. Yes, gas. Mixed pepper corns. Ah, don't forget one more thing. Yes, I always forget to put this thing, honestly. It's a salt. But I have to be very careful with that salt, which one. you okay because it's very salty so that's an answer about it that you know you're expecting then it's flowers all over let's see you feel like spring coming but then it's cold windy you don't feel that it's actually spring mm. meat is ready this place is ready here I'm gonna make both and cutlets and keep them there and I'm still thinking should I bake them or should I mm, steam them I don't know I'm still thinking my dinner is ready just left a little bit some tea to make Well, let's dig in. 